Hey mum, give me a call when you're on the train. Hey mum, how are you? Can you hear me? That's the answer That was mum's answer machine message. Hi, sorry I missed your call. But that makes it sound like she's just picked up the phone. Mum, you need to fix your answer phone message. You can't just say, sorry I missed your call for an answer phone message because I've just called back for the second time so I just assumed that that wasn't a message and you were just saying, sorry I missed your call. Then the beep went off and now I have this whole awkward monologue. Discovery, Coney. We've got to give oh, it back. I'm gonna have to husband for a whole week. <laughs> I can't believe they're taking it back. <laughs> I'm so depressed over this. I'm gonna wear socks and sandals and not even care. I'm gonna do this. I hate life. If life gives me lemons. I'm gonna wear socks and sandals. Right. Um, keys. He's going to pry these keys out of my hands. I just want to say a quick thank you to everyone who was so lovely about last week's video. It's always hard following on from a, a week like that because I think it, it makes everyone's expectations raise and it makes my expectations raise and then this video therefore there's a lot of pressure on it. So, um, But I'm going to try not to like let that pressure get to me this week because sometimes I can do that and this week I'm not going to do that. I'm just going to chill out and just let it flow. Run away if you haven't yet gone for ages, gone for good. It has been a while as it should. There she is. Someone's excited. Hi, you How are you doing? Oh, I'm great. Lovely to see you. Hi, you scallywags. Tell the right. Daddy are going to go and look at two houses today and if we like them we might move to them, all of us. Is that okay? Yeah. Are you going to film me now? Yeah. Okay. I'm going to do poo. Two houses today isn't it? Just two yeah. houses? Yeah. I feel like I haven't dressed properly for it though. I feel like I look like a I feel, I like, feel like, like you look like a respectable dad. I feel like I look like Jeremy Clarkson. Do you not think so? No, I no. think you look like a 
lovely, respectful, got, like, bearded stains. dad. Yeah, well, okay. And you've covered up your tattoos. <laughs> <laughs> I sort of feel like I'm cheating on our house in London, though. I feel oh, like it's I, I really feel like sad that you feel like that, though. Okay, I'm totally new to this vloggy sort of thing, so I've no idea what I'm doing. I don't even know if, I can, if you can see me, because I'm just holding the camera up like this. I don't know if this is recording either. Okay, so I'm just going to make some spaghetti for Grayson. Hannah's already made it. All I have to do is heat it up. Fingers crossed. I hope he doesn't laugh at me. Why? Because you've got chocolate on your crotch. I just, I just, I've, just, I've dressed really badly for this. <laughs> I don't think you have. I think I have. I'd rent my house to you. I look a bit like an unlicensed gynaecologist. Yeah, we're okay, we'll talk to you later. Bye. Remember, when you walk in there, to visualise the space with your things in and not theirs. Okay. Think family. Think two kids. Okay. Yeah, I'm fine. Okay, cool. Okay, I think family. Oh my god, there's a zombie coming in the kitchen. Help, help, help! Oh no, zombie, go away! Like, I don't think I could live anywhere with a fridge this colour. But then most of the time I'd want to eat outside anyway. No, you wouldn't. It's England. You can be outside for like one month but a year. But like we work from home, lunches and stuff would be nice outside. How often do you think it's warm in this country? That would be such a grinch. We've probably got to use that for about ten months in a year, that garden. Yeah. Dawn's just, I, I don't think I can live like that. I don't think I can deal with that. But how much is that really going to bother you? That will really bother me. Really bother me. Let's look at the other place. Right, we've had a great day, but now we're getting ready for bed. So we're going to find some story and some pyjamas. Are you coming, Gracie? Come on, baby, we have to go get our jammies and you have to tell me what book you want. Right, this is the second house we're looking at. Here is a Spider-Man bed. <gasps> oh no, get out! Let's get, I'm gonna sleep in there. That's pretty much my dream house we just saw right it then. It is absolutely beautiful. I didn't want to film in it. I don't want people finding it online and then being like, this is where they live. That's what happened the last time when we looked somewhere and got on yeah. it. Somebody, somebody get, get and that was address. a bit creepy for my life. Yeah, so, oh my God, it's beautiful. Isn't it? It's so beautiful. I love it. It's freezing. Absolutely yeah. freezing. But it's a massive space to heat. That's the thing. Yeah, and high ceilings. The heating bills would be colossal. But, it's but just we could such just wear house. ski flannels. <laughs> <laughs> um, um, oh, thank God. I so think, I did a good job then. I think we put an offering. Yeah, me too. Sorry, did, you, did I leave you hanging there? Sorry, it's embarrassing. I did that publicly. Room for an office, the underground bit for a games room. Yeah, dirty old dad then. That's not a dirty old dad then. It's a sophisticated gentleman's room. There'll be a box of tissues down there. <laughs> There's one thing just to say about being a grandparent that is so brilliant is that you know you've done a good job on your kids when your grandchildren are just wonderful to be around. And being a grandparent is so good. It's like having this little person that you're not really responsible for, but you love with all of your heart. So it's really special. I love being a granny. I'm glad we found one we liked. Yeah, me too. It was, um... I'm just really scared about it. It was a risky little game booking two viewings yeah. by myself for you to, like, with the hope that you would like one, because you are very fussy. I'm not that fussy. You are quite fussy, honey. Just hope we get it. So different. It'd be such a different way of life. It'd be such a funny, like, couple of weeks, won't it, if mm. we're, like, all of a sudden we're, like, packing to move. Mm. Basically, a front page news here in the UK of Kim Kardashian's ass being big. Like they've put that on the front page of one of our mo uh, one of our best-selling newspapers over here. It's literally just a lady. Which newspaper is it? The Sun. It is uh, the Taurus. There you go. Yeah, I know, but still, like the fact is that people pick up that trash is embarrassing. I don't blame the Sun as much as I blame the idiots that read the Sun. That's what really annoys me. The idiots should pick that crap up. It wouldn't be like ethical to kill all idiots, would it? I love that you go from talking about someone's bum being big to the ethics of killing idiots. <laughs> like, <laughs> You could do it in a humane way. Steph, stop it now. No, I don't think you could actually. Alexa, turn on the lights.
are about to head out for a nice cup of tea somewhere. I think we're gonna go to, oh, cut my head off. I think we're gonna go to Gail's Bakery because they do the most incredible brownies. So we're gonna have a little matter and a cup of tea. And then it'll be time to get Gracie. Yay! I would bet anything on the fact we're having a girl. It's just a feeling that I have that it's a girl. I think the feeling is based on the fact that Hannah is just a completely different pregnant person than she was with the pregnancy with Grayson. When she was pregnant with Grayson, she was horrific in, in the nicest possible way. And this pregnancy is the polar opposite. She's so happy in this pregnancy. She, the only downside of this pregnancy is she's tired a bit. She's not cried in as long as I can remember. She's not been really mean to me in as long as I can remember. She's, she's just been like, amazing like a little bit tired but that's about it so i just think because emotionally she's in such a different state maybe it's going to be a different baby like a girl i'm thinking this is based on zero scientific knowledge of how these things work it's just a feeling i have i'm just a feeling i have and it's a really strong feeling that it's gonna be a girl there's an expression that they say board of london board of life uh, they need to change that. They need to change that to board of a lung full of carbon monoxide and crazy house, house, house prices. This doesn't quite ring. As, it doesn't have a nice ring to it like board of London, board of life. But we're not bored of life. You start to want different things from life as you get older. Like you want to breathe clean air. That sounds like a stupid thing to say. We bang on about it in these videos all the time, but it's such an important thing to us just to breathe clean air. And also we want, you know, an important thing is to get your foot on the housing ladder. And if you don't have wealthy parents that can step in, this city is impossible to buy in for young families. So young families are just forced out. I don't want to go all cliche dad starts on a house price rant here, because if you've ever been to a dinner party with a, with a dad, you're going to have heard this monologue before. I found out the other day that like one person a day gets acid thrown in their face in London. I don't want to live in a city where one person a day gets acid thrown in their face. It's not that we're bored of life, we're just bored of this city I guess and we're, we're bored of the drawbacks that come with living in a, a congested city like this. But that doesn't mean I won't be incredibly sad to leave it. I'll be incredibly sad to go. I've never lived anywhere in my life as long as I've lived in this apartment. So this apartment's very much become a part of me and that's what's going to be hard. It's, it's not leaving just a some walls it's leaving an extension of me and that's how it feels mm. we just got home and we now have both the boys with us and grandma very kindly <laughs> brought us a little stash of cookies from gales because they do the best cookies ever so we're gonna gorge on those later i think we might save those for when gracie goes to bed but Grayson's in a really bad mood and he's supposed to have a tennis club this afternoon. But I think it's because he gets tired after that nursery in the morning and he's not really feeling very well at the moment. He's got quite a bad cough and cold, so I don't know if we're gonna make it to tennis club or not. Please take him to tennis They're like, <laughs> what, please take him, mm. why? In that mood. Mm. He needs it. He needs it, or you need it. We both need it, we all need it. <laughs> so. We have to give them an answer today whether we want to lease this well, place. Yeah, because there's somebody going to look at it tomorrow, so they say. They always, the state agents always lie to you about stuff like that. They yeah, always no, say, oh, I we've know. got somebody else seeing it. Like, it's just a standard yeah. generic thing they always no, say. No, I know. I know that. So it's whether we... Call their bluff or commit. <laughs> it's such a big decision. Mm. It's such a huge decision. Huge. Should we call their bluff? We should make a list. Should we, should we do a pros and cons list? Right, so we'll put pros on this side. So cons, money. Yeah, it's a huge house to heat. Lighting is good. Yeah. yeah. Apart from it is north facing. Um, filming. Yeah, would filming. be amazing in there. Yeah. Garden. Yeah. It's summer. Uh, having a spare room. Yeah, spare room for when guests. friends come and yeah. when your family comes over. Uh, cons put Wi-Fi is not as good as spare. London. Oh, yeah, Wi-Fi. But Wi-Fi anywhere is not going to be as good as London. Also pros, schools, because we need to be in an area to apply for schools latest January because the last date is the 14th of January to apply for I think for a con has to be down to the instability of this job. We've got to, you've got to speculate to accumulate. We can make better videos there. It's bigger for the kids. It's more of a family-ish kind of house. Well, we could, I mean, we could stay here with a new baby because the baby's in our room for a while anyway, but it's the school thing. I do. Just give him, just give Grayson stab proof vest and send him on his way. Send him on with a helmet and a, and a bulletproof yeah. vest. 
You might as well rent forever because we're just going to die one day anyway. You can't take your house with you. Grayson can just make his own way in life. <gasps> Never did us any harm. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> Apart from we're both crippled with anxiety. <laughs> So right, cool. pros, we've got space, lighting, filming, garden, spare room, schools, two new cities to film, and then cons, we've got money, heating, and instability of our heating job. Heating comes down to money, so that ties in with the money. Easy, right. We can wear jumpers. We have to wear jumpers, instability we'll of our job. We will wear ski thermals. I probably will actually end up wearing ski thermals. Let's just, okay, fine. Let's just live on beans and wear ski thermals all year. Let's just do that. And also, with a newborn... How much are we really going to get out of the house to spend money anyway? If it's a girl, it's going to cripple us. Worst case scenario, what happens? Worst case scenario, yeah. nobody works with us anymore for, mm. for a few months and mm. we just start hemorrhaging money and then we go into the... Yeah, and you, go, and you end up in, in the poor house. So tell him to take it off. Tell him, tell him with that, those conditions, Widgie, seal the windows, when's the latest we can move in? Let's ask those questions first. Okay. Right. She counted them one. Our friend Ryan has come over and the boys are just playing Oculus. Oh, there's loads of music boxes everywhere now for some reason. And a big pair of scissors coming towards me. I'm waiting for some kind of figure to like appear yeah. and make me jump. Ugh, what the fuck? That was weird. A giant hand came and put this music box in front of me. Something. Ah, God! That's horrid! The plan for today is Tate Modern, but first we'll go and get some food. Yes, that's a great idea. Are you hungry? Stop. Oh, good. It's raining. Are you having a nice time, Mum? I'm having a fantastic time. I've been educated and everything. <laughs> Don't touch the camera, Grayson. No. Excuse me. He knows. He knows what the bloody off switch is now. Stop recording. Yeah. Nine of times he stopped my. So there's a there's a restaurant I want to try out called the Ned. Uh, it's just opened up, so we're going to try that, and then we'll go to Tate Modern. Okay. Well, I'll blow your mind with some uh, modern art. Yeah, you know how much I love that. Well, maybe I can convert you. I'll show you around some of it, and then I'll ask you what you think. Okay. Yeah? You probably can, yeah. Well, I'll keep an open mind. How's that? <laughs> It's an old bank in the middle of uh, London and they've converted it to like a restaurant and a uh, hotel and uh, a vault there. And they've kept the original door and inside they've put a bar. They're not letting me film in there, but it looks awesome. <laughs> Do you think it's to do with more to do with your lack of imagination, or do you think yes. it's more to do with an artist just, just I lying think it's to a everyone? Bit like the emperor's next new clothes. Some of it's brilliant. Mm. Some of it, the, some of the photography in that room mm. was brilliant, and that concept of the, the city on the floor, yeah. brilliant, yeah. and the sand, brilliant. But then stuff that, that stuff that you can't understand that's too far. Then stuff that's too far fetched. Like, but do you think if you had somebody explaining to you 
the reasons behind maybe, each piece, it might make more maybe sense. Maybe it would make more sense. But I still find a lot of it is intellectual snobbery and Emperor's New Clothes stuff. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Not yeah. all of it, yeah. but yeah. some of it is a bit. And I think because there isn't anybody to sort of say, this is this and this is what this means, it leaves it open to to Your own interpretation. Yeah, but to, to people to take advantage. Okay. That can call themselves then artists, even though all they are is intellectual snobs. You're comparing it to like traditional like landscapes or portraits. You're not you're not you're not putting in its own box, if you see what I mean. Well, then how come I love um, how come I love David Hockney? How come I love Picasso? How come I love because Van he's Gogh? easier to un unravel. How come I love um, but I can get, no, I get it. I get a lot of stuff, but that sometimes it really is just taking the. Mickey. Yeah. Okay. You know, it's just it's just now come on, that's pushing it you're pushing your luck here. <laughs> that's you just a, a cotton bud on the wall. Yeah, it's a cotton bud. <laughs> For God's sake, it's a cotton bud with a bit of tomato ketchup on it and you're going to tell me that's a concept that means life and death are all um, a part of an esoteric hole and thick off. It's I think I'm like, maybe just a bit too stupid to understand a lot of it, but I reckon if I had the artist explaining to me... That's how they get away with it, because so many people think, oh, well, I'm too stupid, so I can't let people know I'm stupid, so I'll pretend I understand what it means. Oh, so they get away with it. Big week in terms of potentially moving. I feel really weird about it. I feel like, although I want it to happen and I'm excited for it, Neither of Steph and I really like change and this is like one of the biggest life changes that you could make. Yeah, it's just a really weird feeling. I'll be so sad to leave this place because we have so many memories here and we've been so happy here. But then yeah, at the same time, it's like a new chapter in our lives, as cheesy as that sounds. I think I'm dealing a little bit better with it than Steph. I don't think he's, I think he's a little bit more not dragging his heels because I know he wants to move too but I think he's a more sad about moving than I am. I guess if we're supposed to be there at that point in our lives then we will be and if it doesn't work out then there'll be a reason for that so yeah we'll see what happens. It'd be weird it'd be like taking all of you guys with us when we move like guys we're all moving house <laughs> let's go. I'll try, yeah, but definitely I understand the situation. I mean, I would be exactly the same. Let me phone him and then I'll come back to you. Cool, thanks Thank very much. Yes, Thank, Thank you. Thank you. Bye-bye. Bye. We didn't do this on purpose. This was, I wore it first. You did wear it first. I just ran downstairs, put on a jumper because um, I was wearing my gym stuff, so I wanted to look half respectable for the outro. We're waiting for a phone call from our... Um, estate agent to tell us if we've got the property or not. It's, uh, we're in like a weird war with somebody else, aren't we? Yeah, bidding war. We're on a knife edge now because we don't know whether it's going to be yeah. happening or not. So we just... One of those weird days where you're just waiting yeah, to see if the stranger is going to change your life completely or not. <laughs> I got a quote from a removal company to get to remove our stuff from London to there. £4,000 to take our stuff from here to Bath. This is... Yeah, it's an expensive thing moving. It's a good job we all like beans. <laughs> it's a good job we all like beans. <laughs> Shivering eating cold beans. <laughs> so it's gonna Why do like. they have to be cold? Because we won't be able to afford heating. I know, and we'll be depressed if we won't want to heat them up because we'll be too depressed to heat them. So we'll have no heating and we'll be really depressed. Oh great, you're selling this house. <laughs> but it'll be a beautiful house. Yeah, anyway, if there's any brands watching who attempted to work with us, definitely work with us. <laughs> Oh, this is such boring moving chat, isn't People it? love moving chat. That's all they've had a week. If they, they've yeah. stuck till now, then they, they must <laughs> have a fetish for moving chat because there's been moving chat all week this week. Yeah, once you've done your whole, like, deposit and mm. removal van and, like, mm. pet, you have to have some kind of crossover between yeah. renting two properties. Yeah. It's like, yeah. it does get crazy. Never, ever move house. <laughs> mm, it's too much of a pain in the ass. Anyway. Well, that lovely uplifting note <laughs> <laughs> thank you so much for watching cheers for getting to the end hope you enjoyed this week's video um, we're going to go pick up Grayson um, I think Grandma's asleep so I don't think she can even say goodbye she's asleep downstairs but Aww. I'll say goodbye on her behalf so bye, bye. everyone oh, oh. sorry <laughs> say goodbye to everyone mum bye everybody there you go thanks for watching we'll see you all next week
<laughs> fingers crossed. Bye, guys.